Saturday morning. This is Necessary Food, and I'm in the book of Proverbs this morning, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. The scripture says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Trust, faith, confidence. All throughout the scripture, we see this, this idea, this word, this concept in our dealings with God and his dealings with us. Abraham believed in the Lord and it was reckoned unto him for righteousness. The, the, the New Testament tells us, for by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. If we're going to have dealings with God, it's going to be on the basis of faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please Him, for he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Trusting in God with all of our heart, just like loving God with all of our heart, are, are what the Bible calls us to, what Jesus calls us to if we're going to have a walk with Him, if we're going to be saved, if we're going to be redeemed. If the sanctification process is going to take place in our lives, it's going to be based on faith. And faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So if we're going to trust in the Lord with all of our heart, we're going to have to know the Word of God. We're going to have to get into the Word of God. <clears throat> and we're going to have to, there, there's a, a contrast that he lays out here in this proverb. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. See, the, the absolute opposite of trusting in God is leaning on my own understanding. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 says, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. One of my biggest opponents in trying to walk with Jesus is myself <laughs> and what seems right to me. He who listens to his own heart is a fool, the Bible says. My heart is deceitful and wicked. Who can know it? Jeremiah reminds me, I have got to seek the Lord and trust in Him with all of my own heart, with, with all my heart, and I've got to be careful that I lean not on my own understanding. You know, when you lean on something, you put confidence in it. I'm putting confidence in a chair this morning. I have leaned my weight upon this chair, and I'm expecting it to hold me up. And that's what this proverb says not to do with my own understanding, but instead to trust in the Lord with all my heart. Now, here's, here's the, uh, uh, the promise. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. That's what I need. I need direction. I need wisdom. I need understanding to make it through this life, and not just to survive it, but to thrive in it, to make it through this life in such a way that I live a life of faith, of walking in the Spirit, a life of bringing glory and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I do that by trusting in Him with all my heart and by, by seeking for Him in the Word of God, seeking for His ways in His Word, seeking for, for a, a relationship with Him through prayer, through taking what I learn of the Word of God and allowing the Holy Spirit to bring that to pass in my life. That's what we desperately need. I want to encourage you this morning. You can trust God. He is faithful. So trust in Him with all your heart. Be careful of leaning on your own understanding. There's a way that seems right, but if you're not careful, that way leads to death. But Jesus is life and His way leads to life. Have a great Saturday.